Just coming in to see how you're enjoying her first hour of life. Thank you so much for everything, Dr. Thompson. Please, call me Sharon. I think Deb's gonna propose. Jill, we haven't even been together for a year. Well, my mother always says that love doesn't wear a watch. Well, you know, I told you about my mom passing, but I never told you that I had a sister who ran away. I was five and she was 15. I think I found your sister. Oh my God, that's like an hour's drive from here. Are you Raven Peters? My sister. Oh my God. <laughs> God, do you think you could ever forgive me for the pain I've caused you? Oh my gosh, yes. Moving forward, okay? Okay. Pinky swear? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think she's taken a class in a while. It'll be great. Just having fun. She's not. She a... is a psycho. I literally just met her, and then she goes and tries to break my arm. Is she everything you remember? Truthfully, I don't remember much. You don't think you're moving too fast with her? Right now, you're making excuses for her. And you're looking for problems. Look, do you know she has no form of ID whatsoever? That's because she lost her driver's license. Well, how does that explain her having a bullet? It was around two, and Raven was just sitting there. What do you mean, sitting there? Sitting there. Ah! What the hell, Raven? I want to talk to you, actually. It's about Lee Detweiler. Unless you want me to talk to Sharon about it, you'll come meet me. I don't know how you found out. Yeah, stop talking. Do you have any idea how much that house is worth? I have friends on the police force. Oh, where are they? Oh, Sharon! All I've ever wanted was a family. And not your sister. Oh.